When the government announced its plans to build a high-speed rail line from London to Birmingham, it involved the area around Euston getting a huge makeover with hundreds of new homes and shops. But now it appears that those big plans are being scaled down and lots of people aren't happy. Let's join Aisha Buck, who's at Euston for us tonight. Aisha. Well, Riz, there's already been uh, quite a lot of unhappy people along the proposed route of HS2 who've made their voices um, heard to the government and local authorities. Here is where the people leaving and coming into London will arrive uh, on the HS2 uh, high-speed rail link. And people living and working in this area say that they're deeply concerned about the plans and the revised plans which have further um, concerned them and caused more uncertainty. High Speed 2 is a massive infrastructure project worth billions of pounds. It will link London to the Midlands and beyond. The first plans for Euston Station, the London Terminal, were for it to look like this. But Camden Council has now been told there'll be no regeneration of the station, which means no new homes or shops. Buildings nearby will still be demolished. Well, we're pretty disappointed, to be honest. There's a huge negative impact for Camden. We lose nearly 500 homes, we lose countless businesses, a nature reserve is affected, some of our regeneration plans are being delayed, a school will need to be relocated. The one saving grace that we had was the potential for overstation development in Euston, reconnecting two communities divided in the 70s, and regeneration, provision of jobs and homes. Well, we asked the company behind HS2 for an interview, but instead we were given a statement in which they said they are aware of the need to deliver the project on time and on budget and they are working closely with Camden Council in order to minimise the impact and prioritise the benefits for the whole borough. Yet despite such reassurances, local campaigners feel the HS2 project needs to be reassessed. There are better technical ways of doing it and it would mean that you wouldn't have a huge expenditure to compensate um, the the. the people in West Houston. It's quite unnecessary to knock their homes down. More than just knock their homes down, it's destroying a community. Sue Summers has lived near Euston Station for 18 years. She's a leaseholder on the Regent's Park estate and like many of her neighbours is worried about a future under HS2. Treat us fairly. If you keep in, us in touch with what's going on then I think we can uh, find ways of working together. We all want the future of the country. We all want uh, the best for Britain, but we don't want it at the cost of the suffering of the little people. So while local people wait for the consultation of these revised plans, Camden Council say they'll continue to pursue their own legal challenge. Well, HS2 stressed at the moment these are just plans and they will, as I said in that report, go to consultation with local residents and local businesses and the local authority and then they will present their proposals to the Transport Secretary.